chain of events has lead me to this. Had a nice little one-on-one -on -one talk with my little pal inside here. Let me just do the deductions. I'm just curious. Yep, this is Lover of Ladies, and I'm still doing deductions. Question is, am I able to get this one correctly? Gil had to kill a friend in order for the mission to succeed. Gil works for Mitchell, even though he hates his guts. Huh. A sniper killed Randall? <gasps> Wait a minute! Is this it? Oh, come on! Okay. Okay. Anyways, listen. Listen. Subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share this video. Either way, I'm just here to try and have fun, make sure I'm able to at least entertain you for 30 minutes. And yeah, I was this close and yet so far away with these, uh, these deductions. Okay, first of all, let me see if I can do it again. You ready? One, two, three, and four. Oh! What if it was Gil who killed his partner, Randall Lee, under Mitchell's orders? Okay, that sucks. Oh, a new deduction. Question is, do I want to do this all day? Because I tend to get a bit clueless on these things. Um, Cassidy's too impulsive to plan something as twisted as Dunn's murder. One of Dunn's brothers in arms tried to pass as Yale's doctor. O'Leary caused the death of Yale's father and now rigs his fights to quiet his guilty conscience. Mary's been at Yale's place recently. During the war, Don and his pals were known as the Olympic Five, O'Leary's feet on the table, a sign of dominance. Mitchell, the surgeon, could be the person behind the entire case. Yale's souls don't match the footprints at the gym. Who's the guy passing for y Yale's doctor? Cat okay, so... Huh. So... I don't know. It's like... Can I do this one? And maybe... No, that's not it. I hate this. Okay. No. You know what? I'm not gonna waste my time with this. For some reason, I just can't get the last deduction correctly. Either I'm too clueless, or maybe the clue's not there as of yet. Now, he did say number three, so I'm going to use the key. What's in here, though? I'm kind of scared. I'm scared. What's in here? Look at Black Sad, he is just smirking. Oh, a secret! Wow! A secret entrance! Hey, yo, this is so cool, I can't wait to see what's inside! Damn, this is a lot of stairs. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's dusty. You can see the particles. I know. If I was down there, I would have been sneezing already. Oh! <gasps> Wait. I want to know... 
I want to know if he's actually going to be a friend or foe. What's in here? A bed? No. Um. Uh, uh. Go hey. You it's alright. Don't be afraid, little girl. We got a kidnapped kid. I'm a friend, okay? Vita, no hurt. Wow, this is so freaky. This is, I don't know what the hell is this thing is. Like, sock <gasps> puppet theater. <gasps> I mean, yeah, let's play with the kid, I guess, to comfort her. Why would there be a kid down here, though? I'm done with the music. I am so done with the music. Um, once upon a time... Uh, this one. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess called... Yo. Brunhilda! Hi, my name is Brunhilda, and I'm very happy said Brunhilde, and then Brunhilde, who had a beautiful name. Really beautiful. A really beautiful name ran into someone very special. Oh, who was it? A magical cat called John. I'm a magical cat, my name is John. <laughs> he is so good with kids, I can tell. Hi, John the cat. I really like magical cats. Hi, Brunhilde. I'm gonna use my magical power to help you. Uh, get out. Let's go. Get out of a cage, too. No, he's sad. You say silly things, John the Cat. So what are you gonna help me do? Well, we're gonna... Bake some delicious pies. Ha! <laughs> I love pies. Which is your favorite? Wow, that's a very hard question. <gasps> but John the Cat... It's the easiest question in the world. Let me show you how easy it is. My favorite pie is... Uh, let's do blueberry, because I love blueberry. Blueberry! Yay! Oh, Brunelda? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I was about to say. Mm -hmm. Look how skinny she is. <laughs> they don't even feed... Look how dirty her hand uh, is. John. <laughs> uh, she likes it. That's cute. Do play each look. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi, bird. Why are you wearing that mask? Well, uh, gas. Uh. Well, maybe we should get out of here. What do you think, Bird? And what about you, Brunhilda? Don't you think that? Does she? She passed out. Come on. Bendito. I don't think she even has enough energy to get out on her own. Oh my god, her feet are dirty, her hands are dirty, the dress is dirty. She's in here like an animal. What the hell's going on? Like, that's crazy. She is literally in there. Wait, what's that on the bed? Hold on. Is there anything I can actually search in this room specifically or nah? I'm curious. No? Okay. Well, I guess I'll let her be. I can't believe that there's a kid here. This is so freaky. I thought this was like a mystery game, not no weird-ass horror game. And what's in this room? Bro, are you sure you should leave the door closed like that? What if someone locks us in? A list of names, 
somehow related to chemical agents? Helen Moore, I see Helen Moore. Bobby Yale? Huh. That's so weird. Hmm. C. Spano? What? Wait, what's, what's up there? No smoking. Damn. Okay, so he already has a new deduction, but I just want to look for more clues. What? So many drugs. And there's names on them, too. For what? That's... Is that their own catered drugs? Okay, you know what? I need to do the deduction. I need to at this point. Okay. So... Ah, oh, come on, man. Really? It's the same thing. I don't know what to do. You know what? I'm just gonna do random stuff. Yeah, I know, obviously. Okay. I know. Like, I just... None of these clues work, though. Ah, screw it. Anyways, time for me to just skedaddle. Is there anything else I can look through here? No? So at this point, I really need to do some deductions. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay. I really need to think here. So... Boom. Boom. No. Oh, I hate this. Okay. Okay, whatever. I don't know what to do, honestly. I really don't know what to do. Okay... O'Leary caused the death of Yale's father and now rigs his fights to quiet his guilty conscience. Huh. I mean, I really don't know what to do here, though, honestly. Because the thing is... I don't... Maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's like, fine, there's the clue, but at this point, it's like, what do I do? Hmm. You know what, let me read this one more time. O'Leary's feet on the table, a sign of dominance. One of Dunn's brothers in arms tried to pass as Yale's doctor. Mary's been at Yale's place recently. During the war, Don and his pals were known as the Olympic Five. Who's the guy passing for Yale's doctor? Mitchell, the surgeon, could be the person behind the entire case. Yale's souls don't match the footprints at the gym. Cassidy's too impulsive to plan something as twisted as Don's murder. O'Leary calls the death of Yale's father and now rigs his fights to quiet his guilty conscience. Hmm. Huh. Mitchell, who fought with Dunn during the war, tried to pass as Yale's doctor. Wow, I got one. Yay! I finally got one. Okay, so now that deduction's out the way... What should I do? Should I take the girl? Apparently not. 
All right, so I guess I'll leave. Go upstairs, maybe? No. I'm not allowed to go through here. Which means I have to... Go back to this again? So I did miss something here. Question is, what am I missing? What am I missing exactly? Ah, okay. Hmm. Wait. Oh, we're gonna watch a movie? Okay. Oh, a card. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And... Projector. So, it's moving time. Too bad I don't have my popcorn with me. Or some other snack. Do I really want to watch this? I'm kind of afraid. Subject. Brunhilde Gruner. Treatment. Day 1500. The patient's ability to speak continues to diminish. Now she can only pronounce the occasional word in German. Okay. This degeneration persists. And yet, perhaps due to drastic reduction of benzylpodine dosage and an increase of anupropion, we have observed a 3% of deceleration of said degeneration. Furthermore, and perhaps this is the best finding so far, the subject exhibits a mild recovery of her speaking. It's not a lot, and yet... We are on the right track. All hope is not lost. Wow. That's crazy. They're doing lab experiments in the poor girl. I need to get her out of here. This is... We need to leave, Black Sad. We need to get the girl and get out of here, bro. She doesn't deserve to be here. And yet, I still am not able to do anything with her. Can I go out or not? Nah? Or is there something missing yet? I'm not able to leave, so I have to go back and see what else I need from this place. I know, it's like, you're in or you're out. Stop leaving. Blah, blah, blah. Leave me alone. So much experiments, and for what? Honestly, we might as well just watch Sparrow. Subject, Craig Spano. Mm -hmm. Treatment, De Zero. This subject is a veteran baseball player who has lost speed, strength, and agility due to the regular aging process. The patient refers intense pain on the right scapula, most likely caused by an old injury. The goals of our medical approach are twofold. To relieve pain caused by the prior injury so that the subject can play without symptoms and to help the patient regain the physical condition lost in the aging process, thus allowing him to perform at elite levels. Treatment. Day 120, the patient no longer feels pain when using his right arm, circumstance that allows him to pitch without fear. So far, the only side effect seems to be a slight euphoria experienced three hours after dosage, which subsides four hours later, taking the patient on an emotional roller coaster of sorts with bouts of mild trembling. Treatment, day 341. Moments of euphoria and boosted physical performance 
have become increasingly shorter, while the ensuing periods of depression and weakness have become longer, including severe. Although we have met all therapeutic goals, we will proceed to terminate the treatment. Hmm. In order to avoid causing irreparable physical and mental damage to the patient. So that means those pills. Those pills are sitting there with the names. He has m way more than one client, that's for sure. Oh, another deduction. Hopefully this is a lot easier. Oh. Spano enhanced his, per his performance by using drugs. Um, hold on. There's pill baller, bo bleh, I cannot read today. There's pill bottles with athletes' names in the lab. A list of names that somehow relate to rare chemical compounds. Okay, so that one with that one. Boom. Ooh. Mitchell is cashing in by selling drugs to enhance athletes' performances. Wow, Mitchell, he's a drug dealer. Okay. Yeah, he's a hardcore drug dealer. Another deduction. All right. What else? Okay, so Spano's health took a toll after using drugs. Mitchell sells athletes drugs to enhance their performance. All right, so what should I do? Uh-huh. Yes. The worst part of Mitchell's scheme isn't that it's illegal or unethical. It's that he didn't even care about compromising the athlete's health. True. That is very reckless. And he could actually go to prison for that, too. God forbid someone dies off of these pills, you know? Wow, no deductions? Yes. Okay, so at this point, now it's time for me to leave, right? Can I... Uh-oh. His cat senses are tingling. Black sad. Gil? You know you're not allowed down here. You know you're not allowed. It's... You bastard. I kill you right here, right now. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I know you're testing drugs on that girl. Brunhilde? No. Yes. She's my daughter. What? She was born with a degenerative disease. A rare condition similar to the Angleman syndrome. There are only four known cases like hers, and none of the patients reach the age of five. What? But I couldn't give up. I continued to research and found something. It didn't make her better, but anyway, that same treatment used on healthy subjects seems to improve their stamina and their reflexes. It also seems to improve their pain threshold. Somehow, the Reich heard about my experiments and tried to recruit me to create is that, super soldiers. Is that Hitler as a cat? Yes, that Reich. We're talking late 30s, Berlin. Wow, I'm done. I, I love how they meet Hitler, Hitler a pussy. Your country. Very fitting. But the American military also heard about me. I spent the entire war experimenting with drugs on soldiers. Some were highly effective, I must say. When the war was over, my experiments were discarded. I was forbidden all access to the drugs 
and Brunhilde got worse. Wow, that's uh, some story then, about your daughter. God sent me Angus Mitchell. We had met during the war, and he came to offer me a deal. I would make drugs for athletes, and he would sell them. With my earnings, I could pay for Brunhilde's treatment. What else do you want me to say? Hmm. I noticed Yale's name appears twice on your list of athletes. What's good One with that? One mention was crossed out. Why? I don't know. A couple of months ago, Mitchell told me to prepare pills suited to his profile. But a week ago, he told me to stop. And then two days ago, he asked me to make them again. About those pills. Yeah, Doc, about those pills. But let me get close. Detect any type of interesting details about you. What is he looking at? Sparrow. Oh! Wow. This is Don't so... Don't dwell on it, Josh. You had to tell him the truth in order to protect Brunhilda. I would have done the same thing. Finish packing up your things and stop torturing yourself, okay? Thanks, Angus. I won't be long. Oh, honey. You like living here? Yeah, me too. But we have to go somewhere else and it's all that bad cat's fault. What? Yes, sweetie. We're going to a new home now. A prettier one. And you'll be happier there. Now go with Papa, honey. Give him a kiss. Go on. Give him a kiss. Go on. <laughs> He's gonna kill him. For being a rat. I'm, I'm sorry about this, Josh. But we gave it our best, didn't we? What? What do you mean, Angus? <gasps> Bro, he's gonna light him on fire! Flammable I wish shit. It hadn't come to this. Oh no, the rat. His daughter. Angus, that's Chill. wrong. Chill! Bye, Josh. So hold yo. <gasps> yo, he's dirty for that! Yo, what the hell? Yo. Oh my god, this guy is sick. The bitch. They were good people. You killed him, asshole! I hope that you ain't you feel shit. better. So far from the truth. What the? Come on, Black Sad. Let's get out of here, bro. Let's go. I'll kick his ass, honestly. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Punch him. Punch him out. What a... Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Bro, what's in here? The mask would buy me a bit of extra time. The question was, how much? Oh yeah! The mask, bro! Okay. It's a good thing I grabbed the mask. Oh my gosh. I can't even save the daughter or the scientist, man. Who? Wait, who's that? Come on. Spano Come on. Just ran out that way. All right, let's go. Come on, Black Sad. Climb up. Thank goodness I grabbed the mask, because I would have been passed out, honestly. Come on. Black Sad, let's go. 
Black Sad, please, I need you to go. Keep going, bro, please. I don't want to lose you. Come on, come on. Come on, man, please. The mask was barely working. I needed the fresh air. Come on, Black Sad, come on, please, just push. A little bit more, we're out. Black Sad, come on, bro, please! Huh, how ironic. The bottle's right there. Black Sad? Oh, thank goodness! Come on, bro, let's go. I got you. Yes! Come on. Oh, he took the pills! Come on. Yeah, he's high off of them drugs. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.